What's going on guys and welcome to Market English with Abby once again. The place where you work on your English and feel a little bit better by the end of the video. Because every video is here to add value for your English and make you feel a little bit more confident and sure about the words you use and the grammatical structure. Uh, today's video was once again inspired with the mistake most of my students make over and over again. And the mistake is what you saw in the thumbnail. Did you notice? What does the thumbnail say? It says with who and it has a big X on it, right? Yeah, they say with who do you live, with who do you do this, with who do you that. So that's not right. At least when we speak when in, in, in everyday English, that's not right. That's not how the natives say it. Uh, so we're going to fix that first. But I don't want to leave you just with that. So I came up with something that's very close to it, which is by. So we'll look at these two words with and by. The first one, let's see, with who. So if we want to ask a person, another person, he does something with, for example, I live, right? If you want to ask me about the person that lives with me, you don't say with who do you live? We don't say that. We break these and we say who, and then we finish it with, with for example, live, live. Right? So, first one is, do you live? Right? Do you live? Do you live? Of course I live. Of course, I'm alive. You, you can see me right now. Just say, who do you live with? And you're asking me the person I'm living with. Simple. Who do you live with? You got it? Who do you live with? Nice. Okay, now ask me the people I work with. How do you say that? Who do you? Huh? work with who do you work with nice now you got it right let me ask you some more so in the conversation i'm telling you i didn't come here alone i did not come here alone there is somebody else ask me that person that came with me how do you say that it's in the past so you can say huh who did you huh come with okay who did you come with simple who did you come with? You got it? Okay. Uh, by the way, I didn't start this channel alone. There are other people, other, other people that helped me to get here. There is especially one guy. Really? Yeah. Ask me that person that's, that helped me to start this channel. Who? Uh, did you start this channel with? Who did you start it with? Who did you start it with? Because you, we already know that we're talking about the channel. You can say, who did you start it with? One more. We're going to change it to future this time. Okay. So tomorrow I have a wedding and I will go with someone. Really? Yeah. Can I go with you? No, no, you can't go with me. I have someone I told you. Okay. Huh? Ask me the first thing I'm going with. What do you say? It's tomorrow, right? So who uh, will you uh, go with? Who will you go with? Who will you go with? Who is the person that will go with you? That's what you're saying, but that's just so communicative and no, no native speaker would convey their idea like that. So who will you go with? Who is the person you will go with? That's it. So if you understand this from now on, we don't say with who do you live or with who do you want to start business? No, who do you want to start business with? Okay. Who do you live with? Who would you go to church with? Who did you come with? This is how we say it. Uh, yeah. So if you understand, make sure you put some questions there in the comment section. And I want usually if I don't tell you what to do exactly, you guys don't do it. So I'm going to give you a sentence and you put it in the comment section. So yeah, tomorrow I will fix my car. Just ask me the person, uh, ask me the person who I will fix it with. Tomorrow I'll fix my car. Nice. Um, I will prepare. I prepared this presentation with someone. I prepared this presentation with someone. Ask me the question, the comment for this too, and you're set. So if we understand with, at least in this context, we have to look at by. First off, be careful when you say by. Usually when people want to part ways, they say by, by like this or by like this. But no, if you want to say by, 
Don't forget to add Y and B Y E. Buy. B U Y. Buy. Buy means to purchase something. Tomorrow, I'll go grocery shopping and buy some vegetable. So, buy. To buy, to purchase. This buy, that's what we're talking about. What does it mean? First one, the first one says buy is a person or a thing that does something. A person, a person. Or a thing that does something. Okay, maybe I can talk about Facebook. Facebook, there is a person who designed it, right? Mark Zuckerberg. So I can say Facebook was designed by Mark Zuckerberg. Okay? Okay? Nice. Uh, it was painted maybe by some kind of brush. That's the type of brush that made it happen. So by something. The person or a thing that does something. So if you want to talk about the person that does something, you can say by and tell me the person that does it. Uh, our country was led by Mr. or Prime Minister somebody for 10 years. Usually as a passive form by somebody. You see, like you're, you put the action first and you put the person that does it at the end of the sentence. So it is a passive form, but still you can say this. Okay. I was told, I was told by my sister to stay put, not to move. This guy was driven by emotion. You see, it was, it was emotion that was pushing this guy to do whatever he, 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 he did. So don't be driven by emotion. He was driven by emotion. Okay. He was motivated by anger or revenge. He was motivated by anger when he committed a crime. Okay? So, yeah, bye, bye, bye. We can use it that way. This table here was designed by Alexander Gerard. The screen was designed by Steve Capps. We will not be driven by fear into an age of unreason. The other one is how something is done. Let's say you came here. Okay, so now you came here. You're here. I want to ask you how you came here. What do you say? I came here huh, by a bus. It means that's the bus that brought you here. So how did you come here? By a bus. The other one. I'm sure if you listen to, to me this far, it means your English is good and you understand everything I'm saying. So how did you learn English? I mean, how did you get here? I learned English huh, by doing what? If, if you have by, you always have to follow it by ing. I learned English by watching movies, by reading books, by practicing with my friends. How did you do it? I mean, yeah, I don't know your tricks. And not only me, all the people that watch this video are rushing down in the comment to see how you learned English. So I learned English by doing what? You can tell me. Good. We can solve the situation in our country or we can solve any problem by discussion right or by discussing you have both you can put noun or verb if you have a verb don't forget to put ing okay nice i try to make you understand this lesson by giving you too many examples so by is used to show you how something is done okay i i show my wife uh the love i have for her by buying her gifts by telling her what she means to me by doing something, okay? How do you express your love for other people? I express my love by, and then continue by doing something. Please jot it down in the comment. It's fun. We'll look at it and we'll reply. You have my word. Thank you. I, I didn't come by car, I came by bus. Make him believe that he can impress you by discussing the murder because it turns you on. So this is the, this is the second meaning of the word by. Third one is near or at the side of. Hey, where's my bag? It's by the door. It's at the door, specifically at the door. It's just there. But if I say it's by the door, it means it's near the door, maybe a couple of steps away, or it's next to the door. Okay? So by, by. We use pass by, right? Pass by. Like I'll, I'll, I'll pass by tomorrow. It means I'll, I'll pass near your house or at the side of your house uh yeah man like call me if you pass by or give me something when you pass by on your way so if you pass by you're going at the side of something or you're going near it where's your car i parked it by the building at the side of the building or near the building okay so 
by this, by that. For a place, you're saying they're close to it. Not specifically, it's near it or it's next to it. It's around there, it's on the side. This car was parked by the shed when I went to put my shovel away. All right, hold it. Let's wait for the sirens to pass by. He watched it pass by. So we can use by to say a person or a thing that does something, how the action is done. Who did it? It was written by somebody, a book. Uh, I was arrested by who? The police. So it's the person or thing that does something. You see that they are responsible for the action. Second one is how something done. I learned English by watching movies. That's the method I used. Again, uh, the, the third one is like for a preposition of a place. We use it for to say some, something is near it or at the side of it. The fourth meaning, it says not letter at or before. Not letter. Not letter means it's, it's not going to pass that time. We say later for time, right? I'll call you later after some time passed. So it says not letter. It means it's not going to be late. It says at or before. What do I mean by that? At or before. Usually when you have this kind of expression, you say by the time. Uh, if I say by the time I am 50, by the time I am 50, I will have visited maybe 20 countries. By the time I'm 50, I'll have visited 20 countries. It means just when I'm 50 or before it. Not after this, not when I'm 51 or 52. At this age or a little before it, I would have accomplished all that. If somebody comes and says, I want my money by Tuesday, he's telling you he wants it before Tuesday or on Tuesday at the specific time at or before okay i'll let you know by tomorrow if i can a little bit earlier but if not at tomorrow on a specific day so we can use by in this case i thought about this by tuesday morning this letter has to be in new york by tuesday i want him dead by tomorrow okay so now let's talk about your future what we have accomplished by next year something that doesn't have to pass the whole year but if you can earlier or, I mean, at the end of the year, at least, that's, 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 that's the furthest it can go. So, yeah, by, by the time something, I will have something, okay? By the time you read this, I'll be long gone. By the time you read this, I will be across the river in the Indian nation. By the time he realizes what's happening, he won't have enough left to hurt you. All right, thank you guys. So these are the things I brought you today with and by. Let's not say with who. Just break it to parts and say who, do, did, will. Do is for repeated. I mean, like I live with my sister. That's a repeated process. So I said, who do you live with? Uh, did is only for past. Who did you start this company with? Okay. Who did you who did you do something with? It means it's in the past. So there was somebody else that helped you to 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 commit whatever you did. So. Who did you do something with? Who will you do something with for a future? We use by for these four cases. The first one is a person or a thing that does something. It was written by my brother or I was war warned by the doctors not to eat anything fat or something or to cut my sugar intake. Uh, second one, to say how something is done. I learned English by watching movies or something. I convinced him by telling him he'll get some benefits if he, if he accepts the plan. So... How did you convince him? By doing something. How did you make her fall in love? I made her fall in love by, I don't know, showering her with gifts, by telling her what she means to me, by expressing my true deep feelings for her. I don't know. How do you make your, your, the person you're married to or the person you're in a relationship with in love? I made her fall in love by doing something. I made her fall in love by doing something. Let me know. We can use some tips. Uh, so the, this one near or at the side of by the door this there is a song he says i was born by the river it means i was born by the river you know right so he's saying he was born next to the river or near it or at the side of it so yeah the last one not letter at or before at that by that time or earlier so this is it. I hope you understand it and you like the lesson. Let me know what you want me to do more. This is Marky English with Abby. Keep on working yourself and focus on things you can change. Uh, this is the message from Marky English with Abby today. Till I see you next time. Take care of yourselves, guys. One love.